Greetings, Divine Radiance. Welcome. I am Nikila Asha of Ashwa Sky Life Sculpting. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor here to assist you with elevating to your next level of greatness through healing, peace, and understanding. Okay. But listen, today's Monday Money message is a little bit different. You'll notice I don't have no cards, right? But I got a quick message for you because I was talking to one of my sisters in light, and we were just kind of talking about materialistic things, right? And so I'm going to share some things with you and give you information that'll assist you with evaluating self and then also making sure that you're living a life that is aligned with you and not aligned with someone else, with somebody else that was valuable, okay? So we were kind of talking and we were talking about designer purses and then we were talking about jewelry and I was sharing, there was a time where you would never catch me in nothing like this. See, this costume jewelry, right? It's cute though, it's real cute, but you would never catch me in nothing like that. I was all about the real diamonds, right? The real jewels, the expensive shit, right? And you wouldn't catch me in it. And then I used to go out to the club back in 2005. That was my college years without the college, right? And when I was going out, every time I went out, I would buy a brand new outfit with the shoes to match, you know, nails, everything did up, you know? And I started to play around with different jewelry that was cute, that matched whatever I was wearing. And so I got to a point though, where, well, first of all, when I went through my healing journey, right? When I went through my healing journey, I share with you guys before my healing journey began, I left my ex everything in our marriage and I started all over and I was in a horrible place financially. I didn't realize what was happening was spirit was stripping me of everything that I deemed valuable, which unconsciously made me feel more valuable, right? So I had diamond tennis necklace, bracelets, big diamond studs, rings, you know, jewelry galore, right? And I was at a point financially where I pawned that because I didn't have the money to hold on to it, right? And so through my healing, I got to the point where my views and my, uh, the things, the things, the material things no longer had value to me, right? No longer had, now don't get me wrong, I still like diamonds, I still enjoy nice things, you know, material things, some are extremely expensive, some are not, you know, but it doesn't make me feel any more or less valuable based on anything material, right? And so, you know, we were talking and I was sharing, there's a couple of purses, designer purses that I plan to get, right? The two, one is just the classic vintage Chanel. Now that purse, now I don't know if you know, like I know, if, if certain things can make you feel something on your inside parts, right? But when I visualize and connect to the energy of that purse, it makes me feel good, right? So that purchase would be for me. That purchase is not to walk around with a Chanel bag as a status symbol. I see that as an investment. Now you might be wondering, how is a damn $5,000 plus purse an investment? I'm going to tell you how. It's an investment because of how it makes me feel on the inside, right? It makes me feel good. And that good increases my abundance, right? So I'm choosing to treat myself to a purse by Chanel, right? Now, when I think about the YSL purse, that purse, I have this whole vision of myself, right? When I'm like deep in my abundance, right? And that's like that boss version of me. That YSL purse feels like that masculine boss energy, right? But it's classic and classy. So it gives me a different type of feeling on the inside. Again, the purchase is for me. I don't care what nobody think, feel, or whatever, right? These are investments for me energetically, right? So I'm saying all of this to you because the old me would have been buying things that when people looked at me, it, it's like she has arrived, right? And that stemmed from a, a place of lack and insecurity, right? When I was driving a luxury car, that was like one of the biggest accomplishments for me to have bought that car with my own credit, my own income, because of where I came from. Leaving home at 16 and going to school with people that went to college and moved on, some are working with celebrities, some are doing, you know, fantastic things in the world, right? And so me being that abused runaway, you know, was counted out. So when I was able to build a certain status in life, 
I felt valuable, right? So going back to when spirit stripped me of everything, I, I allowed myself to be stripped because in my mind, I was doing it for my children. But in reality, it was for me because I was so down and out that I had no other choice but to find myself, but to find my purpose, right? And so by doing this, I was able to shed all of that, right? All of that. So this Monday money message is a bit different. And the reason being is because all of this has been said to encourage you to look at how you are investing your energy called money and why. Are you investing because it makes you feel good? Certain cars do that to me too. I can't explain it. You know, I'm not like a car fanatic, but there's certain cars that I'm just like, you would think I'm a dude that you know how some dudes are just into cars and that's biased because I know some women are too. But I mean, you know, you would be like, Cause sometimes like certain ones, it just does something to me. Like, Ooh, you know, it gets me going like glitter or sparkly stuff. It just, mm, it does something to my soul. Right? So if you're purchasing things because it feels good to you, great. But if you're still caught up in that place of feeling like your materialistic accomplishments adds to your value, spirit is saying it is time to stop. You are valuable, you are perfect, you are whole, and you are complete. And the question to ask yourself is, who said this is valuable? And why is it valuable to me, right? Because look, these little old crystals I be wearing all the time, they valuable to me. Why? Because of the energy, right? The energy, when I don't have them, I feel naked. But then there's times where, same thing. When I don't have them, I'll go back upstairs to get them. I'll be like, you know what, spirit, you got me. Protect me. Everything that those crystals do. I know it can be done without the crystals. They're just a tool, but they don't make or break me. Right. It's time for us to look at our materialistic things in that way. You know, it's okay to make investments towards things that feel good to us. But if you're doing it to make a statement or you're doing it to alter or affect the way the world sees you, it's time to stop. It's time to stop because even if your bank account allows it, right? Uh, if it allows it, you may be wealthy in the bank account, but if you're not wealthy in here, none of that matters. None of that matters. So this year is all about you. 2022 is all about you. It's about self-evaluating. It's about getting in touch with, you know, why am I doing the things that I am doing? What is my driving force? It's about healing the things that aren't aligned with your truths and your authenticity. It's about letting go of the things that are not feeling good on a soul level. It's about releasing the expectations and releasing the caring about what other people think of you, right? That's what 2022 is all about. So, Today's Monday money message was a bit different, but if you went to it, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Let me know. Start leaving me comments. Start commenting throughout the videos like you would on a live, okay? I do that when I watch videos. I, I'll be sitting there commenting like it's live, but y'all know those comments help with the, the videos get shared. So they, you know, YouTube's gonna put them in the flow. So to get these positive messages out, your comments matter, right? Your likes and your shares matter too. So anyways, enough of me rambling. I'm so excited to be here serving you. I truly am. And if you're ready to get over those things that got you stuck in a place of lack, got you stuck in a place of caring what folks think, go ahead and click the link in the description box. Schedule your consultation. I'm not even going to say schedule a reading because reading's temporary. But if you're ready to, to go beyond just clarity in the moment and you're ready to heal and really be in your power to create the life you desire and deserve living on your terms without a care in the world, schedule your consultation. Okay, let's get to work. I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.